Purdue officials are hoping a new online course will encourage students to make good choices when it comes to alcohol. Alcohol EDU is an online course that new freshmen, transfer students, and residents at the dorms and at Purdue are expected to take before school starts next month. News Channel 18's Kristen Mayorano has more. If you're wondering if Purdue students are exposed to alcohol in college, all you need to do is take a walk down State Street. But officials want students to know the culture of college drinking isn't always what they might expect. And a program like Alcohol EDU is going to let them know, first of all, that not everybody's drinking in college. And the people that are drinking a lot of times are making very, very healthy decisions. The majority of people are making healthy decisions. Health advocacy coordinator Tammy Lowe says she hopes students will learn that lesson and many others when they participate in Alcohol EDU, a new online course that many Purdue students will be expected to take before school starts. She says one of the biggest goals is to change how students view alcohol. For freshmen, I don't know how they would do it, but like upperclassmen, I'm sure will be like, oh yeah, let's go party or something like that. People have preconceived notions that there's a lot of pressure to drink and that everybody's doing it, but that's not really true. For example, I'm 21 and I never drink. I've been out to the bars twice since I've been here. Lowe says the program is being treated as an implied mandate. In the coming weeks, incoming students will be receiving a barrage of emails encouraging them to log on and take the two-hour course. If they don't, there won't be academic consequences, but Lowe believes they will be able to get a wide majority of students to take this online course. It doesn't say it's okay to drink. It does say if you do drink, these are some of the consequences that you have. The program is already in use at other university campuses across the country. Kristen Mayorano, News Channel 18.